Hello guys, I'm Orbita, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to the Kerbal Spider Rover. A little design I've done. Um, I don't know if you've watched the Kerbal Quest series, or last episode anyway, before this comes out. I built this uh, spider rover with six legs. I decided, well, a spider has eight legs, so let's go ahead and do an eight-legged rover. And the idea of this design other than the cannons on the front, which makes it badass, was the idea was to have something like the Batman rover, or Batman vehicle, whatever you call it. The Batman tank, I suppose, is the best thing to call it, because it's got a huge cannon on it. But what I wanted was a low center of mass, wheels on either side, but I didn't want to be stuck with just four. I thought eight would be brilliant. It's much better than six, much better than two. Anyway, let's go take this for a spin. First off, let's see what the capabilities of the wheels are. And we seem to be getting, you know, a nice 30 meters per second. And look at that spin! 180 degree spin. So if an enemy was on our tail, we could quickly turn around and shoot them down their eye sockets. Or something along those lines, I suppose. But anyway, we have... I noticed that the electricity charge was running out very quickly. I put uh, salt panels, but I've also put... Uh, Electrical thermal generators. Oh, look at that 360 as well. <laughs> That's brilliant. I can't believe the maneuverability of this thing. You know, I was thinking you, perhaps you could do power slides. Perhaps you could do races with this thing. With this thing. Perhaps you can put a huge cannon on top of it and shoot. Anyway, if you wonder what I'm doing here, I'm pause, stopping the vehicle because you can't quick save unless if you're traveling across the surface. So that's what we're doing. And let's go full speed. I think this goes up to 100 meters per second on full thrust. I think these are the Panther engines. Anyway, let's see what the jumping capabilities. <laughs> the jumping capabilities. Oh man, that's terrible. Oh look at the struts. They're just holding the, the girders on. A oh, quick jet, Bill. Save yourself. EVA. I'll die with a ship. I think. I don't know. I think Bill died as well in that crash. And if he'd stayed in the cockpit, he would have survived. Anyway, let's go some further testing. Other than doing a lot more drifts, I've decided to come up on these hills because it's hilly, it's rough terrain. It's not sort of like moon or sort of like terrain, but I don't think this would survive on a low gravity planet. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it on here at high speeds, 36 meters per second. With my old rovers, they'd sort of like flip out and destroy themselves at under or just over 15 meters per second. So this, look, is doing turns on hills. Nothing I've built on rover-wise or aircraft-wise survives anything like that. Anyway, let's see what it does around the KFC Center. And always, when you're racing around the KFC, go around the R&D, because that gives you lots of places to go. <laughs> yes, I do need to get used to controlling this thing. Doing those power drifts, I think it's a bit of... Um, other than shooting things, be out of anger. Die, die, die. What we have to do is calibrate those wheels to work properly and uh, not not try to roll over something. Oh, I wish trank treads were a thing in this game. Anyway, here's Jeb playing his awesome music because now he's going to go racing around the VAB. Or at least attempt to. Unfortunately, my driving skills are slightly lacking. However, I do slowly start to get controllers, as you can see for that power turn there. Right, let's do a quick, ooh, just over 90 degrees, 90, 80, 70, 120, or, <laughs> but then we do 180. The problem is, if you turn too fast, the wheel seems to position yourself, because you're going one way, it seems to slide sideways, and then the direction the wheels sort of push it in the direction that you were going which is a shame it's like that one there uh, I have to get used to doing this especially if you want to do something like a race unfortunately this thing is a bit big to go around here you can see we, it's easy enough going through the large tarmac areas but however going through the small areas like the small tunnel you have to be very precise and you have to make sure you don't hit the um, thing on the edge and also the wheels are a bit lacking. Oh, talking about the wheels, the construction of this thing, most of the stuff, um, other than the BD Armory mod, I've got Tweak Scale mod as well, which increases, I used to increase the size of the wheels. I'm not sure if these are the best wheels to have, but they do have 
you they oh what are you, I trying to think about this anyway let's get you up to repair that wheel and I just realized the design floor there's no ladder for him to get up ah, how am I gonna get back up in there I do not know however Jebediah is a clever bugger and what he's gonna do he's gonna climb on these boxes get builds a back up and then he's gonna do a run and jump Jebediah is an awesome Kerbal. Not only does he know what he's <laughs> know what he does doing in a rocket, but he can think on his feet. He's worthy of engineering status as well as pilot. Anyway, here we go. All right, take a bit, deep breath, Jeb. In three, two, one, jump! Yeah! Ah, oh, yes, and you just missed the uh, the hot exhaust vents of the, the the turbine the panther engines there anyway what i was on about is the profile of the engines the uh height profile these go a bit further downwards rather compared to the other uh wheels engines wheels yes anyway let's go full thrust see what we get with this thing now i've down the thrust of these thrust limiter because we don't want to flip it out and i've i've tried i haven't been able to flip it out so yeah and you can see as well, I put the drive limiter up to 100%, which is sort of like control. Oh, nice, lovely 360 there. And I just love doing power slides in this thing. I just couldn't get enough of them. And sometimes, you know, you can get control of them because if you do power slides, it sort of like goes sideways. Some of the wheels come off the ground and you lose control. Anyway, let's see what this thing can do. As these you're using the Panther jet engines, what you can do in toggle mode and put into afterburner mode, which, as you know, jets use to take off. So let's see what we get out of this thing. Now I've rated this at a maximum of 100 meters per second for safety reasons, and that's only on flats. Come on, Carols. Let's quickly break here because if we're going to flip out on these things, ah! Uh, oh, cool. We didn't flip out. We just destroyed a couple of wheels, which, ah, Jebediah can go out and repair. Okay, so let's go full thrust. Let's do a jump here. Perhaps this will survive. Perhaps this is better than I thought. 60 meters per second, quite good. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay. But I have to admit, if Kerbals were in this, it seems quite survivable. So this brought me up to this design. If it flips out, put wheels on top help it, and then we could carry on just rovering around like those toy cars. Now let's see what we got here. <laughs> and as usual, Caspi Physics puts a stopper in my plan. Yeah, obviously that should not have jumped that high because, of, but that's, this is Caspi. What do you expect? The Kraken lives in this game. Ah. <laughs> uh, Anyway, let's get back to the cool design. And there's one thing I hadn't checked out. What is a thing like on water? Now, I was assuming it would sort of like float to the body. The uh, the intake on the front there would sort of like clog up with water and we will not be able to do anything. But I have to admit, I have to put this in a bow. I'll also have to put a tank on it or something. Uh, no, a tank. A uh, big, huge turret on it. Because I think that is part of the BDR mod. Alright, there's me trying to shoot the light. Okay, let's shoot one on the end. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it! Yes, we did it. And, uh, yeah. You have to make sure you don't go too fast. Nothing over 50 meters per second. So let's slow it down. Let's get into the water. See what we can do. Now, I was, I was interested in how fast can you approach the water and survive so I thought under 50 meters per second okay yeah we can survive we destroyed the intake <laughs> and there's a dead spider in the bath <laughs> Kerbals won't go into the bath if there's a dead spider so let's go back into the bath and see what we can do now this probably won't work well you know, in most things when you go into the water, at least in the before version one, 1 of KSP, everything in the water used to be destroyed instantly. If you tried to do a proper boat, you would not survive. Anyway, let's get in slowly. And oh my 
god. This thing floats on the wheels. <laughs> now, obviously, that won't work in real life, but... Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at those effects. Just because the exhausts of those engines are hitting the water and causing the clouds. But it looks like a fire. It looks like we're on fire. Look at those their exhaust plumes plummeting from the oceans like blue flames. <laughs> I have to admit, this was absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's see what we can do. That's it from a distance. <laughs> I did have a thought for that. If we're going to have a sort of... Um... Oh, let's put the afterburners on. If we have a... Uh, sort of a boat and we wanted to sort of cloud it up to protect it what we could do is use those engines make a cloud anyway let's get some awesome music up because the top speed on water is 45 meters per second now i'm not sure if that's because of the limited surface area of those wheels so we don't get so much drag i haven't experimented with boats i'm gonna have to now Look at this thing goes. This is with video sped up and two times physical speed. I did try four times physical speed. It almost flipped out. Three times you're you're pushing it a bit. Two times seems to be the best though. You know. So in reality this is traveling at 80, 90 meters per second for me visually. You know, let's get rid of that music. Because I think it's a bit too intense. That music should be kept for a battle. All right, Jebediah is going to approach that sort of ramp up there. Going to see if we can get onto the island. I'm not sure if that's possible. All right, let's toggle these engines down. We don't want to go at full speed because we know that will destroy the wheels. I'm Spider-Man. And this is my boat, Amphibious Craft. <laughs> Oh, I love those effects though that is caused by those things. The uh, exhaust of those jet engines. This is easy to build actually, and it might work just as well with the small wheels. But please note, you have to put a lot of electricity, battery things, or at least engines like the, these jet engines to replenish the batteries. Because those wheels use a lot. However, I suppose if you have small wheels it might work. I'll have to give that a go at some point. But it was late in the night. I was going to set up some enemies that we could attack or something, but I think I'd have to do that in a later video. Let's get up on the shore. Okay, oh, ah, uh -huh. oh dear. Some of those wheels seem to be destroyed. And it worked, there are eyes causing those wheels. Watch the wheels now as we come over that ridge there. Damn, bang. Yes. The entire world is breaking apart. There's fissures, there's cracks in it. Anyway, let's get the Kerbals out for a photo shoot. Jebediah, stay on top there. St what, are you, what are you doing? Get on back up on top of there. Uh, let's go for a shoot. Anyway, I'm more beta. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Oh, Jeb! Come on, we were supposed to do a photo shoot. And oh, he's gone for bathing, isn't he? Anyway, I <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> 